Man United boss Eric Ten Hag has spoken to Kabi Mainu about not getting carried away by newfound fame and Euro 2024 speculation. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag says he has spoken to Kabi Mainu about not getting carried away by his newfound fame and speculation he will be picked in England's Euro 2024 squad. Mainu's meteoric rise continued during the international break as the 18-year-old made his England debut against Brazil and then starred in the following friendly against Belgium. The teenager only made his first Premier League start in November but now looks set to be named in England's squad for this summer's Euros in Germany. Mainu's newfound fame could have some negative consequences but Ten Hag is pleased he has handled the situation very well so far and says he will intervene as he gets carried away. We've already discussed this, Ten Hag said. So far he's handled the situation very well. If he gets carried away, of course, me as a manager and we as coaches, we will intervene. But so far it is not necessary because he wants to play football, he wants to win, he wants to give his best every day. He wants to improve and just have fun on the pitch. Fun for him is to play dominant, to dictate the game and win the game. Assessing Maynou's performances for England during the international break, Ten Hag added, I thought it was very good but we are not surprised. We know what he is capable of, he can very quickly adapt to high levels. It looks very natural and we are very happy for him. Of course, we are also very proud. It's great for the Academy of Manchester United to bring up a player so young going into the national team. It's a big compliment for the whole club. For himself because he did it but also all the ones who worked with him during his time in the academy. It's very good news for Manchester United. England boss Gareth Southgate heaped praise on Maynou after his impressive performance in the 2-2 draw with Belgium and described his emergence as a beautiful moment. Everything that we've seen with his club, he reproduced in an England shirt, which isn't always the case, the Three Lions manager said. He was very calm, receives the ball so well under pressure, strong, so we are a little bit more open playing that way but the benefits with the ball were clear to see. He seems very calm. You can see he is taking everything in. Talking to him tactically, he seems able to take all those concepts on. A lot of young players now, with their academy education, are able to do that. You can see his comfort with the ball and receiving in tight areas. There are a lot of steps being taken in a very short period of time, but you saw in the brief cameo the other day, against Brazil, some of the qualities he has. Sometimes, with the really young ones, they are not even thinking about that. It is all flowing and maybe then as you get a bit older you start to think about it a bit more. It is a beautiful, innocent moment when he is just in the flow and lapping up the opportunities as they come. Following two weeks off, Manchester United return to action on Saturday against Brentford. Ten Hag's side are currently 6th in the Premier League, 9 points behind 4th placed Aston Villa and 17 adrift of leaders Arsenal. Eric Ten Hag gives update on injured Man United stars ahead of Brentford clash. Eric Ten Hag expects Lisandro Martinez to return to the squad for Manchester United's Premier League clash with Brentford on Saturday. United have been decimated by injury problems at the back this season but are set to welcome Martinez back after over two months on the sidelines. Harry Maguire returned from England duty with an injury problem with Marcus Rashford missing the draw with Belgium, thought to have been carrying a knock for a number of weeks. Case Miro meanwhile suffered his latest injury on the eve of United's FA Cup clash with Liverpool which forced him to withdraw from the Brazil squad. United take on Brentford in the capital on Saturday night and are still fighting to close the gap on Aston Villa and Tottenham, who sit 9 and 6 points ahead of them respectively in 4th and 5th place. Offering an injury update on Friday morning, Ten Hag told a press conference there is a chance Martinez will make the journey to the capital. Yes, there is a chance, back in squad, Ten Hag said of the Argentine. We have missed him every game because he brings a composure in the team, a calmness in the team. At the same time, a winning attitude and he can express this very clearly. He can transfer that into the team and that contributes a lot to our levels. Ten Hag also offered an update on Luke Shaw, who suffered another injury blow in February. With reports initially speculating he could miss the remainder of the season, Throwing his participation in England's Euro 2024 campaign in doubt, Ten Hag says the left back is firmly on track with his recovery. Yes, I expect him back before the end of the season, he is still on schedule and will return to our team.
Martinez has endured an injury hit second season at Old Trafford, undergoing surgery on a metatarsal injury for the second time in six months in September. After four months on the sidelines, he returned to action in January. That return lasted just four games, however, suffering a knee injury in the 3-0 win over West Ham United in early February. Martinez trained with the Argentina squad in the US during the international break before returning to Manchester last week. Maguire meanwhile played for England last Saturday in the 1-0 defeat to Brazil but was replaced in the second half. In the days that followed, he withdrew from the squad due to an unspecified knock. United also remain without Tyrell Malaysia with Anthony Marshall also still sidelined. Eric Ten Hag issues defiant response to Manchester United's rumoured interest in Gareth Southgate. Eric Ten Hag has brushed off the incessant speculation surrounding his future, insisting he doesn't care about talk of being sacked or Manchester United's rumoured interest in Gareth Southgate. United have endured a difficult campaign with Ten Hag at the helm, with the club languishing down in sixth place in the Premier League table, 17 points adrift of leaders Arsenal, ahead of their trip to Brentford this weekend. The Red Devils also suffered their worst ever Champions League exit, finishing rock bottom of their group with just one win to their name, and crashed out of the Carabao Cup after a dismal fourth round loss to Newcastle. With only 10 games left of the top flight campaign, there remain serious question marks over Ten Hag's future, with the 54-year-old yet to receive a public vote of confidence from United's new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. The Dutchman's position is likely to rest on United's success, or otherwise, in securing Champions League football and the team's progress in this year's FA Cup. Recent reports suggested Ineos had identified England head coach Southgate as their primary managerial target should results spiral in the back end of the season. And while Southgate, whose Three Lions contract is due to expire in December, has branded the links completely disrespectful, the rumours are likely to continue as long as United find themselves outside of the Champions League spots. You know when you are working at Manchester United there will always be noise, rumours around the club, the team, the manager and the players, Ten Hag said when quizzed on the constant speculation at his pre-match press conference on Friday. But we are focusing on the process and on the team to play better to improve the way of play. I was trained at Ajax and it was similar. When you are working in top football, you get used to it. So we don't care. Players don't care. I don't care. We are together in the boat and we know we have to perform and get the right results. United could move to within six points of fourth-placed Aston Villa with victory over Brentford and Ten Hag has been boosted by the impending return of Lisandro Martinez. The Argentina international has missed United's last seven matches in all competitions after suffering a medial collateral ligament injury in the side's 3-0 victory over West Ham. Yes, there is a chance, he will be back in squad, Ten Hag responded when asked for an update on Martinez's fitness. We have missed him every game because he brings a composure in the team, a calmness in the team. At the same time, a winning attitude and he can express this very clearly. He can transfer that into the team and that contributes a lot to our levels.